Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's yours truly, Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement. <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for writing in always, no matter when I broadcast, which is absolutely fantastic. And I want to thank everybody for coming to all the live events that I've been doing for the past God knows how long. It's just really, really fantastic. Well, I'm in Los Angeles right now. This is my home away from home when I'm not in the, in the real uh, area of New Jersey doing live from my mother's basement. But this is my place in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going to be in Los Angeles for the next couple of weeks. I have a lot of shows to do. And then I'm going to go back out on tour around maybe July 20 or something like that. And uh, right now I want to talk to anybody and anybody out there who's watching what's going on in the news. And that would like to talk to me about what I think about what's going on. Because pretty honestly, I've been saying for a long, long time, man, I should be president of the United States. None of this shit would be happening. Now check this out over here on uh, Instagram. Look at how fast everybody's writing into the show, which is really, really cool. Just, just take your time because I can't read this fast. Tracy, it's nice to see you. And everybody who has these code names, I don't even know what the hell your name is, U-J-S-O and this, that, and the other thing. But hello there, uh, Tracy, me, 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 whatever that is. That's nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is really cool. M-A-I-A, -A, Make America Italian Again. Actually, Mafia, Make America Forever Italian Again. Mafia. Check that out. Uh, this is why I've been doing this whole thing about make America Italian again, because if I was running the country, I'd be so finesse. I look so great on television, dressed up. I'd say, people, people, oh, 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 we need to relax a little bit. This is a little muddy over here. Let me take care of things. Look at this. Mark, how you doing? It's nice to see you. And I want to thank you very much for always writing into my show. It's badass what you do. I miss your family. I miss your mother. I miss the charity that you guys do. You do a lot of great things out there in Toronto, Canada. I love Toronto. Jersey Italians love Toronto Italians. And uh, saw you sell out Westbury with Sal. Thank you for saying that. Westbury Music Fair in Long Island, New York. That's right. 3,000 people came to watch the Italian boys knock it out of the ballpark. That was one of the greatest nights of my life. Don Novello, nice to see you, pal. Danielle, how are you? Danny, how are you? Mark, thank you so much. Mark, I got to be honest with you, man. You write some of the nicest stuff into the show, and I really do appreciate that. And who is this? Man, I want to go see you soon. Clifton, New Jersey. Damn funny. Hey, listen, pal, I'm coming to New Jersey, and all you got to do is write to me. Write to me on Instagram. Write to me on Facebook inbox me and I will see to it that you get some front row seats to see New Jersey's bad boy live with the whole new tour make America Italian again you just got to write to me I got to know about what you need and I can hook it up okay I'm coming to New Jersey I got some big shows I got my shows listed right in front of me thank you very much Dan I appreciate you saying that I'm the man I like being a man I'm never going to be a woman I'm not one of those things not that I got anything against those people be whatever you want just don't hurt nobody right <clears throat> July 26, getting back to that gentleman that loves the show and he wants to come and see me in New Jersey. Hey, hello from Australia. It's nice to see you, Dennis. I need to come to Australia and do a show out there. That would be really great. And Mike Lucas, it's nice to see you too. Nice Italian fellas. A lot of Italian guys out in Australia. They, they Maybe you made a great choice. I got to be honest with you. But July 26, look at this. I never had anybody write in so many. Hell yeah, I'll be looking for those Jersey shows. Okay, well, thank you very much. Jersey. Uh, July 26, Joey Harrison's River House in Falkett River, New Jersey. Get tickets now. This is a Catch a Rising Star event. Get the tickets now. This is going to sell out. It's only 250 seats. Thank you, Tracy. I'm glad you like my acting work. I want to thank everybody for complimenting me on my acting work. I started out as an actor and then ended up becoming a comedian. Get the bat. That's right. Get the bat. Wait, do you see what we're going to be doing? I appreciate this. This is hilarious. Uh, just getting back to my Jersey friend. Hello from fucking North Hollywood. I'm in North Hollywood, but I, I guess I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I'm around the area. I'm around the area. I'm in a nice area. Drove. I don't even know what the hell that is. What? Well, hey, listen, North Hollywood guy. I just got reminded by my social media manager who doesn't like to come on camera right now, but she's sitting right here helping me do all of this crap. I'm going to be at the Ha Ha Comedy Club tomorrow night. That's right. Uh, June 29, I'm at the Ha Ha Comedy Club right here in North Hollywood. It's a great comedy club. 
and it's on Lancashire Boulevard tomorrow night. Make America Italian again. Go by. It's, there's a big, big sign out there that says Mike Marino Live at the Ha Ha Comedy Club, North Hollywood. We're starting to show off at 8.30. Uh, just show up. It's very inexpensive. Mindy Rickles is hosting the show. Marco Asante is going to be in the show, one of my favorite comedians. A lot of different guest spots are going to be dropping up. Mary Gallagher, who just got done doing the Stephen Colbert show, is coming down to do the show. Jay Davis is coming down. It's going to be a great show. You might even see the real Vinny. We will get the bat. We will have some fun. But this is the guy who was just last saying this crazy, this in New Jersey. Uh, I never got this many emails in my entire life. I can't keep up. Please come to Florida. I come to Florida all the time. People, just go to MikeMarino.net, and you will find out when I'm coming into your area. Good day. Another person from Australia. I really got to come down to Australia. If I got two people asking me to come to Australia, I'm going to go to Australia. I'm going to cut through Brooklyn. Nice to see you, Brooklyn. Uh, I, I, I want to get to that right away because I want to talk about what's going on in the news. So July 26th, uh, New Jersey, I'm going to be at uh, Joey Harrison's River House in Falkett River. Oh, running out of power. Got to go eat a sandwich. I was eating a sandwich before. Don't make me go up. I'll go into the refrigerator. I'll get you a nice Jersey sub sandwich. Look at all these faces that they're making. How about Houston Improv? I'm going to be coming to Houston. I was just in Houston. No, no, I wasn't in Houston. Where was I? Galveston. I was in Galveston, Texas. That's where you got to go. Folks, if you want to come and see me live, it's very simple. MikeMarino.net. And I love everybody writing nice compliments on Mike Marino Live on YouTube. Mike Marino Live on Instagram. Mike Marino Live on Facebook, uh, July 27, Pennsylvania. Hey, Pennsylvania, you guys paying attention? I'm coming into your neighborhood. I'm going to be at the Clarion Hotel, which is called the Raz Room. Raz Room in uh, New Hope, Pennsylvania, and then back to New Jersey. Just wanted to satisfy my Jersey friends while I'm uh, talking about this right now. July 29, I'm at the Surf Light Theater in Beach Haven. All right, so listen, everybody. Falkett River, that's what I said. A few towns from where I live. Saw you in Point Pleasant. Linda, thank you so very much for saying that. Please come to Fork of River. The show is going to be fantastic. It's at the brand new Joey Harrison's River House. You can come by boat. You can come by car. You can come by motorcycle. A lot of people come by boat. So you can get in your boat and you can drive away. In fact, if you have a nice boat, I'd like to get on your boat and get the hell out of the area myself. That would be really great. I don't know why you feel like you need to say sausage and peppers, but if I'm making you hungry for whatever reason, that's fantastic. Look at Tracy over here, Charlotte, North Carolina. I didn't even know you were out there. All right, I'm going to have to come to Charlotte, North Carolina. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've been watching the news today, but uh, there's been another shooting. What the fuck is with me? I mean, come on, really? I, when, when I went to school, my biggest fear was a teacher saying to you, me, I'm going to slap the shit out of you, then I'm going to call your parents, and your parents are going to slap the shit out of you. Now, go in the corner, face the wall, and clap your races. That was fear. Now these kids are afraid that there's going to be a shooting in the school. Now, how do you, how do you shoot up a, a, a newspaper place? I didn't even know we sold newspapers anymore. I figured everybody's just reading paper online or they're just watching my show. But how ridiculous is this? And this whole thing about separating the kids from their families. You know, my parents are immigrants. They come from Italy. Look at Mark. You know what I'm talking about. Your parents are immigrants. They came from Italy. They went over to Toronto, right? They did the right thing. You come into the country the right way. You do what you're supposed to do. And your kids always stay with you. And you slap the shit out of your kids so that they'd be respectful their whole lives. Now, if I was the president of the United States, I'd say, ho, ho, ho. We're not going to separate the kids. They get to stay with their families. We straighten the shit out the right way. Besides, I don't have any kids, and I don't need that many more kids coming in. We got our own kids that we need to take care of, and we can do this. It's not that big of a deal. I just think sometimes, whether you like the president or you don't like the president of the United States, whatever it is, he just needs to get a little finesse. You know, maybe wear a double-breasted suit, maybe some Armani, maybe pull up to the White House in a Ferrari, like I would do, as I make America Italian again. Who's gonna mess with a guy like that? Could you imagine the president of the United States? does 100 miles an hour down the local area, no security, nothing, and he pulls into the White House in a Ferrari, nice red one, you know, with Ferrari sneakers, a double-breasted suit with white Ferrari sneakers with the red, you know, line on the side. It'd be hilarious. Who's going to mess with him? And then you never tell anybody what you really did. 
Why don't that guy work here anymore? It doesn't matter. He wanted to move on. And then there's no controversy. And then there's no problems. And then you fix all of this shit. I know what I'm talking about. Keep watching my show live from my grandmother's basement, on my mother's basement. Now, obviously, I'm really not in the basement right now. I'm in my place. We just discussed that I have a place here in North Hollywood, California, that I've had for about a few years. I have a nice car downstairs. Tonight, I'm driving down to Long Beach because I'm going to do a show at the world-famous Laugh Factory. That's right. A lot of people coming to see me tonight, the Laugh Factory. Free bats, too, with Marino on them. <laughs> It's hilarious. You know, it would be really cool if I did. I become president of the United States and everybody around the world gets a free baseball bat to protect themselves. You keep it under your dashboard. Somebody pulls you over. You do the right thing. The Marino baseball team. Folks, you could find out all about this stuff just by going to Mike Marino Live on YouTube. Uh, I have a great web series that you can watch on YouTube. It's called Marino 2016. And it's me running for president of the United States with some of the funniest stand-up comedians. We're going to do a whole new series. We're going to start filming again. It's going to be called Make America Italian Again. This time we're going to have a lot of celebrities in the show and a lot of the returning cast members. And then you can come and see us live where we perform around the world. So not only do you get to see us on television, but you get to see us live in comedy concert it's going to be fantastic so i want to thank everybody for writing in this is absolutely i got two cameras going right now i got more people writing in right now than i ever did in my entire life it's happening tiley it's nice to see you linda it's nice to see you mike it's nice to see you i like to acknowledge everybody because i think everybody should be acknowledged uh you know especially when people protest when people are protesting what really makes them angry is they feel like they're not getting acknowledged just acknowledge it just say hey listen you know i know you have a grievance I know you know you're really, really angry. So let's acknowledge what your grievance is. We'll have a nice sit down. We'll talk about this over some food. Tell you food. And we'll sit down. We'll talk about this over food. Nobody's going to get hurt. No need to blow up the neighborhood. No need to shoot people. No need to explode grenades. Right? If your basketball team won the basketball game, team, there's no need to riot in the neighborhood. You won. All right? I know a lot of people might be watching all of this soccer that's going on, these soccer games, or in those areas, they call it football. It's fantastic. Look how happy they are. They're having a great time. Well, we can do that here in the United States. We call it the Olympics. <laughs> I think it's great. Frank, the fabulous. Nice to see you. Long Beach. All right, yes, I would like to come to Long Beach. I'm going down there tonight. What's it called? Papalasis. Well, I guess it's a Greek restaurant. Hey, I love Greek food. One of the best stand-up comedians in my sitcom, in my web series, is Angelo Sarukis. This guy is not only a phenomenal actor, he's a great stand-up comedian, and he's Greek. We let him play the Greek guy in the, in the show, and it's great. So, Frank, I'm sure that's a, a Greek place, and I'm going down there tonight. You know what? Maybe I will. I'll drop. I can't even pronounce what it says, but that's definitely a Greek name. Kylie, keep working, Mike. Make America Needs to Laugh. Ciao. Thank you very much. I'm not going to stop. And please go to my YouTube channel, Mike Marino Live on YouTube, because if you don't, I'm going to come to your house. All right, Mike Lucas. I would like a Mustang. Who's selling a Mustang? What kind of Mustang? Is it an old one? I had a Mustang when I was a kid, 1967 Mustang. Bought it for 600 bucks. See, that's the difference between us kids in, in the old days, too. Your father didn't buy the car for you. You bought the car yourself. Your father basically gave you a drive to where the car was for sale. You bought it, you got it, and you hope you made it home. Who's watching Columbia? That who you voting for? Columbia to win the Soccer World Cup? Well, good luck. I'm voting for uh, Italy. It's a small town in New Jersey. <laughs> I don't even know if we're playing. Hi, Jenny, how are you? I think I spoke to your brother this afternoon. Frank, Frank, send me another picture you wear in one of my Mike Marino t-shirts. Hey, folks, if you guys want some Mike Marino t-shirts that say Make America Italian Again on the back, this is the old shirt from a year ago. I got new shirts that say New Jersey's bad boy on it. Oh, over here. New Jersey's bad boy on it. Right? I love you too. And I love Italy too. Thank you for saying it. God bless you. Ciao. Amore, eh? Uh, yeah, you could buy these, these things on Facebook. Mike Marino Live on Facebook. I sell underwear. I sell t-shirts. I sell baseball bats. And a DVD called Live from the Borgata. All you got to do is go to 
um, Mike Marino Live right here on my Facebook channel. And also, you can go to MikeMarino.net. Find out when I'm coming into your neighborhood. You can see the show. You can have a good time with the show. I'm going to start interviewing um, this show some of my celebrity friends. I've been becoming really good friends with a lot of these big names. I'm not going to drop any names until they're actually on the show so you could see for yourself that I am friends with these cats. You can have a lot of good time with that. Hey, Queen Mayan, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, New Jersey bad girl? It's nice to see you. I, I look forward to seeing you on July 5. On July 5, if you're here in Los Angeles, folks, I'm going to be at the Ice House in Pasadena. So July 5, Ice House, Pasadena, you'll meet the real Vinny. He'll be on the show. And uh, Martin Moreno is on the show. And a couple of other guys. It's going to be really, really great. So that's July 5 at the Ice House in Pasadena. My accent. You love my accent? What the hell are you talking about? I ain't got no accent. I've been living in California for so many years, I lost the accent. I used to have a good one, but I fucked it up. It's nice to see you. Queen, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming to the show time and time again. It's really, really fantastic. If you folks notice, I'm actually broadcasting from the kitchen past due to poor connection. Uh-oh. All right, it's back. Steve, how you doing? I'm doing all right, man. It's nice to see you. Folks, you have to go to my, uh, my website. And click on the newsletter, okay? Mike, when will you come back to your roots in Italy? Hey, thanks for asking, Paisan Chow. It's nice to see you. Huh? Grandissimo. Bella. Eh. Well, my Italian's really not that good. <laughs> but thank you very much. I, I do plan on coming to Italy, and I would love to come and perform in Italy. And I know everybody out there speaks Jersey, so that would be a good thing, because I really know my Italian's not that good. But it's, it's very nice to see you, and I appreciate you asking me that question. Folks, everybody, while you're out there watching the show, thank you so much for writing in. This is really badass. The next time I do a show, I'm going to tell you all about my sponsors. I'm going to tell you about what we're doing, what movie. i got a movie coming out in September. i got a lot of TV shows we start filming, a lot of live performances. This is really, really great. So go to my website and sign up for the newsletter. You'll get a coupon. That's right. We're offering coupon. You go to my newsletter, sign up. It's on my website, mikemarino.net. Sign up. Say something funny. Tell me how you know me. But when I send you back an email, I'm going to give you coupons, and you can purchase Mike Marino T-shirts, underwear, uh, uh, some tickets to his show, and we'll give you a nice discount. Jay Jord, I fucking love your jokes, and you look fucking good. Thank you, and I know that you believe that. And I know that you mean that, because if you didn't say I fucking look good, I would think I'm only okay looking. But you really sold me, and I appreciate that. Look at this guy. Sell, sell, sell. Well, why else would I be doing this shit? For the fun of it? Nathan, <laughs> how you doing? Angel, how you doing? I'm a Jersey girl that lives in Florida now. Well, I'm sorry about that, and I hope you're going to be okay. Jersey should stay in Jersey. The only reason why I'm in Los Angeles is because I'm in show business. If I wasn't in show business, I would get the fuck out of here. This place is nuts. They don't even. I don't even call it L.A. I call it Hell A. Hell A. Everybody's in show business. The guy who picks up the garbage is in show business. The guy who sells hamburgers is in show business. Everybody's in show business. The guy who works at Staples is in show business. Every You can go to a Starbucks and the guy behind the counter is rehearsing his lines for his show. It is out of control. Hey, Gumby, how you doing, man? Thanks for not blaming me. I really appreciate that. I like Florida. Florida is great. Florida is a good place for people in New Jersey to go for the first three months of the year, get the hell out of there and go back to Jersey and enjoy the Jersey Shore. Look at all these people putting up these funny smiley faces. It's hundreds. Of, it looks like that game that we used to play when we were in the, the 80s. Uh, Pac-Man. I got a bunch of Pac-Mans. Pac-Man. Put the Pac-Mans back up. Stop. Keep doing it, people. Keep doing it. So listen. <laughs> I don't know if you people have been watching what's going on in the news, but it looks like there was another person who went out with a loaded gun and just started this, decided to uh, start shooting people. And uh, there's nothing funny about it. It's ridiculous. It almost is it's becoming common now. This is ridiculous. I need to get in the White House. I really do. Either that or I need to have a really badass um, social media group that people watch and listen. And then eventually the president says, you know what? We better call Mike Marino and ask him what we should do because this is ridiculous. I'm fucking up the United States. If I call Mike, he might help me out a little bit. I'll be part of the cabinet. You know what I mean? At least one thing I could do is change the food. You know, they won't eat the way they're eating. They'll eat a little bit better. 
Brennan, it's nice to see you. I love your comedy along with my parents. And you're Italian. Well, that's really great. You know, you don't have to be Italian to appreciate an Italian comedian, but it helps. You know what I mean? Uh, but I talk about family, and family is always a great foundation for comedy because everybody's got a family, sort of, and family is always really, really funny. So thank you, excursions, limousines. I appreciate you saying that I should be president of the United States, and I fucking should. You know what would be really cool? I don't go in there for the full four terms, four, four years. I go in there just for a little while, just to prove a point. Right? Could you imagine how crazy this would go in there with cameras, make it like a reality show? And uh, I become president by default. Like this guy didn't want to do it. The other guy got fired. And I just happened to be parking cars that night at a party. And they're like, oh, who's next in command? And like, I don't know. I think this guy is parking cars. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me the keys. And I think they're giving me the keys to a Ferrari, but they give me the keys to the uh, kitchen. I go into the kitchen and they're like, oh, you the, you the baker? I'm like, yeah, I'm the baker. I'm the baker. And he goes, well, where's the cake? And I go, well, I just let it, I left it in the office. And then I go in the office and they see me in there eating the cake. And they say, oh, you must be the president who's filling in. All the other guys in the hospital or something. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm not, that's me. And uh, before you know it, straighten out the whole world, like in three months, they're asking me to bake cakes. I'm like, look, I can't, man, I'm busy. I got to go watch the soccer game in, in one of the other countries to sit down. And then I go have like a conversation with, uh, Kim John Hoon over there, and we become like buddies and shit. The next time you see him, he don't have that black thing on. He's like in a bathing suit with flip flops and sunglasses. He's like, let's go to Jamaica. I'm like, I told you, dude. And it whole, becomes like a whole different world. And then, and then like his army, you ever see his army going up and down the streets and they're marching with their legs up and down? They don't do that no more. They're like in bathing suits, they're dancing. Uh, what's up? What's up? I'm like, yeah, you know. And then they teach him the dot and del, you know, the Italian dance. And, they, and all of a sudden, they're eating cannolis and meatballs in the streets, and they got different color flags, and everybody's happy. And he's looking at me. He's like, hey, man, what, what was in that cake that you baked? I'm like, well, you know, I've been spending a lot of time in California, and uh, I, I, I got that, that recreational marijuana. I thought maybe you would like it. I didn't think you were going to eat the whole bottom part of the cake. I'm like, what the hell is the matter with you? Most people just have a piece of the cake. You, you, you ate the entire cake. That's why when you woke up, you know, the colors were different. You know, you didn't live in the front. You lived in the back because I was trying to keep you from your friends because they were like, what happened to Kim John Joom? They'd be like, oh, he changed his name to Skippy. He's all whacked out. But, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about this shit no more. We got it. We got it, you know. How funny would it be? They don't salute to do this. Hey, I'm coming down the street. What's going on? Nothing. I don't know. You know what? It almost sounds like it's a little silly, but it would make a lot of sense. I do that all over the country. And then with me, could you imagine like me, a couple of guys, you know, Nikki, Joey, Tony, Vinny, Salvi, all of these guys, downtown Ronnie, we get together, we go to see this guy, uh, Kim John Hume. We sit down, we talk to him. Everything's smooth. Him and these guys get together. They want to come party with us now all of a sudden, right? And we're going, yeah, we're going, we're, we're going out. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, well, we're so close to Russia. I figure from here, we should just go over there. You know, was it like a 10 minute drive? We get the Ferraris, we get the sneakers, double breasted suits, and we go see uh, Putin. We're like, dude, Putin, he's right over there. He's one of your friends. He likes you, man. You didn't even notice. We got to get together with him. We got to talk. You know, we got this nuclear um, marijuana. Fuck your head up. You got to come. So we go over there, and then uh, I'm like, hey, Putin, how you doing? Listen. Um, I don't know if you notice or not, but uh, Kim John Yoon, man, he likes to go swimming. He likes to go surfing. He don't like going fishing because he don't like to touch the fish and shit. He was never into sushi. They made that whole thing up. He don't like that shit. They, they, he just likes to fish, normal fishing, but he don't want to catch none because then they got to put the fish in the, in, the, in, the, in the boat. He don't like touching none. He likes women. This guy is totally into women. Let's hook him up. Putin's like, no problem. You guys trade. We want to, you know, no embargo. Trade, trade. You give us some uh, medical marijuana, we'll give you all the vodka you want. Hey, party. Now, who's running America? Now who's running America, right? Everybody out there is laughing. There's a party going on. Whole new soccer game. North Korea plays South Korea in a game of soccer, right? Let them call it football, whatever they want to call it. We don't care, right? We put, put the Italians in there to train them, you know? Imagine an Italian guy training a North Korea soccer player. He's like 350 pounds. 
sitting there eating two slices of pizza at the same time with a Coca-Cola. He's like, oh, yeah, Kim, you got to run. Kick the ball. Once you get it in there, take a break. Then we get Madonna to come and play. Halftime show. Always get Madonna. Nice, old school, Italian girl. She knows what's what. Right? So who we got right in now? Look at this. Heavy duty. I know what I'm doing. Give them the pasta. Could you imagine that? Imagine going all the way to a foreign country and having a guy eat pasta. And we bring it fresh, like from my mother. This way he knows we mean this shit. Because check this out. If my mother ever made like a tray lasagna, right? And had meatballs on the side, my mother would put in bread, nice bread from the Italian deli downtown. We put it all together. We bring it over to this guy, Kim Jong-un, or any, any of these foreign country leaders that got problems, right? That are crazy. You sit him down and he goes, he looks at this pasta and goes, no, nah, I ain't eating that. My mother would beat the living shit out of this guy with a wooden spoon. And you know damn well, he'd be like, I don't want to disrespect Mrs. Marino. I'm going to eat it. And they eat it. They eat it out of guilt. Once you eat pasta that that heavy, what's, what happens to you? What happens to you? You fall asleep. You fall asleep. Now, if we didn't strain out the problem and he fell asleep, well, what are we going to do? We're going to rob the place. I would. You think I'm going to go all the way over to North Korea? I ain't coming home with a souvenir. I'll take a flat screen TV. I'll take one of their uniforms. I'll take their hats, shoes. You know, they, they got crazy. A machete. Like I wouldn't take a machete or one of those things that the ninja kills himself with, the heavy carry, i take that sword. Could you imagine coming home to New Jersey with a heavy carry sword and cutting your bread? You're the king. You're the king. This is unbelievable. This has been one of the best shows I think I've ever done. And I didn't plan on doing a show. I got to go down, all the way down from North Hollywood to Long Beach to perform at the Laugh Factory tonight. I got to get on that stage by 9 o'clock. I hope you guys are all going to come. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end the show like this. You guys know I do this show all the time. It's a nice 22-minute show. I want you to listen to me every Thursday night at 8 o'clock, which is right around now. Oh, no, it's past 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock on the East Coast on ddvradio.com. Make sure you listen to the show. Uh, thank you very much for saying all this wonderful stuff. I like when people tell me to kill it. Kill what? Kill who? What are you talking about? I don't know not. Keep on watching the show. Mike Marino live on YouTube. Sign up. Be part of what's going on in the party when Mike Marino's party takes over the party. MikeMarino.net. Mike Marino live on all social media. Remember, let's make America Italian again. You don't know nothing. You didn't see nothing. You don't say nothing. Listen to me every Thursday night at 8 o'clock, ddvradio.com, and come see a live show in person. All right, I got to get going. And remember, how do I end every single one of my broadcasts? Come on, everybody, say it. Say it. Don't take no shit from nobody. Good night. Hey, folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun, and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.